Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Timothy Antoine, suggests that the success of the COVID-19 vaccination programs in the member states is critical to economic recovery. Speaking during ECCB's Digital Dialogues program Thursday, Mr. Antoine says countries like the United States could prevent its citizens from visiting countries that are not adequately vaccinated. I continue to make the point that while vaccines are ultimately a personal choice, in terms of economic recovery in this region, we have to be very clear. It is critical to our economic recovery. We're now seeing a situation where the US, for example, is putting out no travel advisories because of what they perceive as high risk countries. And in, in part, that is based on vaccination rates and whether or not countries have attained herd immunity. It, it's, it's so ironic because having managed this COVID-19 pandemic so well, better than most, certainly than the larger economies until some of them finally got their act together in, in recent times. We now face a real prospect that we could find ourselves on the sharp end where we are not getting visitors uh, or the flow that we should expect because we are now perceived some of our countries to be high risk. Because as we know, both the United States and the UK have really raptured it up, ramped up their vaccination programs and they know, you know, well advanced and uh, they, are, they are now in the UK over 33 million, in the United States over 200 million people have at least received one dose. And so we have to be very careful ab about that. The ECCB governor said there is an irony he's noticed with vaccine hesitancy. So we have a situation in our region where some people are hesitant. Um, they are watching the science as they say. But some of these same people, I observe, are buying ultra-processed foods. I'll give a simple example, a bag of chips. They are not reading the label. They're not seeing whether it's trans fat, whether it's fructose, what is in the contents. They are eating it to their heart's content. And in those moments, I don't hear any discussion about science or about health. Perhaps they're doing that because it is cheap, relatively speaking, which goes, creates the nexus between our food and nutrition and of course our health. And that's a huge issue right there with macroeconomic implications. But there's an irony that I observe. People are cautious about vaccine, as is their right to be, I want to be clear. But at the same time, we'll, without thinking almost, consume these ultra-processed foods to their detriment. And if you don't believe me, just look at the CARFOR report, which so shows that Four in five deaths in our region, almost four in five, 77%, are NCDs. Obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cancer, and, and the like. Thursday's edition of Digital Dialogues focused on pre-existing and emerging health priorities in the Caribbean and the extent to which the region's healthcare systems are equipped to deal with the current and looming health challenges in light of the environmental impact of climate change. Andre Huey. SKN Newsline.